World Vision staff deliver a truckload of medication to treat cholera patients at this government-run health center in Mahana, a small village near the banks of the Niger River. It's the rainy season in the Sahel, and keeping cholera at bay is an ongoing battle. Health Center Director Dr. Jibu Sumana says the center treated 147 cases of cholera between mid-May and mid-July. Seven of the cases turned fatal, including two teenage boys and one nine-year-old girl. They waited too long before coming here, he explains. That's what we call reference tardif. In addition to waiting too long to seek treatment, Sumana says a staffing shortage at the beginning of the ordeal had an impact on the ability to save lives until additional staff from the district hospital arrived to help. Today, the doctor is happy to see a fresh supply of oral rehydration salts and other medications used in the treatment of cholera, along with tablets to treat water from the river. Nearby, people can be spotted bathing and washing their clothes in the water of the Niger River. Some also defecate near the water, creating a health hazard for others. I come to bathe, fetch water and drink, explains this 22-year-old mother, who says the family sometimes drinks untreated water if purification tablets are not available from the center and money is tight. Dr. Sumana says another problem is some say they actually prefer the taste of the untreated water. When we do the sensitization, we told them to consume treated river water, he explains. They said no, they prefer the water from the river because it has a good taste. The men of the village of Kukuru help unload another delivery of medication by World Vision to this government-run health center, which was also hit hard by the cholera epidemic. Three cholera patients are being treated on site, including seven-year-old Abdul Fatahu and his grandmother. He say he's vomiting. His mother explains he became sick after drinking contaminated groundwater, a common problem, according to Dr. Tari Murtala, as this family lives in a village 12 kilometers from the health center with no boreholes to provide a source of safe drinking water. During the recent outbreak, Dr. Murtala says the center handled 71 cases of cholera, including eight deaths, one a seven-year-old girl. He says some patients waited too long before seeking treatment, dying within two or three hours of admission. Another challenge? Not having enough staff on hand to handle the number of admissions they were dealing with at the onset. For one only person to, to watch all over these patients, more than 30 patients having intravenous solutions being perfused and only one person cannot do it, even two cannot do it. The doctor says additional staff were sent from the district hospital to help. In addition to delivering medication to the health centers, World Vision recently signed an agreement with three health districts here in the Tillibury region, vowing to fund efforts to combat cholera through the training and retraining of health workers and volunteers. Dr. Adrisa Maega, director of surveillance and response to epidemics, says this effort will contribute to the fight against cholera. We have always said that the government alone cannot satisfy all of the needs in terms of health, he explains, and that's why we've asked the districts with their partners to see what are the possibilities and support that they can give in the fight against cholera, and that's what World Vision has done. However, Mayaga says staffing during the outbreak of cholera is always a problem. Doctors and nurses were hired back in February to help staff the centers, and health agents are being redeployed to affected areas. World Vision Area Development Program Manager Bubakar Isifu says getting involved in the fight against cholera makes sense. And I'm sure the families of those children are concerned with this, uh, cholera, with this disease. So we have to help them, because if we're trying to, to get to tackle issues related to child well-being objectives, I think one of the objectives is uh, children are well nourished. Children are protected from disease and infection. The fight against cholera also includes educating communities about proper hygiene and promoting the disinfection of drinking water. While the number of confirmed cholera cases has been decreasing in recent weeks, August is the peak of the rainy season which can mean an increase in the number of people drinking from contaminated groundwater. So being prepared is key right now. Reporting from the Tillibury region in Niger, this is World Vision.